these conversations with different people, someone recommended or commented on the fact that I was aging and if I wanted to say something, this is the time. You can't do it later because it's later than you think. And so, of course, I was offered the most encouragement by, by my family, by Mary Lou and Joe and Tommy. Of course, two women to two Virginias, Virginia Quinlan and Virginia Newshell have been a great influence and a delight of my life. They offered me encouragement. My main problem was to find a pencil and a piece of paper and put something down and take a look at it. And so I did. It was a matter of, of cutting. 25 of them didn't make the cut. And we had Edgar Allan Poe and, and Emerson. He had to eliminate five guys, you know. They're always eliminating five. That was the problem. It wasn't the problem of look, looking for material. It's like anything else that you enjoy. You have to eliminate something. That's difficult. Everybody in the uh, place where I live, uh, they all ask the same thing. Why are you writing your first poem at 90? If, why didn't you start when you were nine or something like that? And I tell them I, I couldn't do it because I didn't have a pencil. If you don't have a pencil, you can't do anything. At age 90, when you begin to write your, your first po poem, or read a first poem publicly, <laughs> There's a, an element of risk involved. You may find out you really had nothing to say. That was the first discovery, to find out that there was something that I knew that was worth knowing and talking about. And so I did it. And it was a challenging task, but exciting and interesting. I, and I enjoyed it. And I hope you do too. And that's my story. The end.